City of New Orleans, 911 emergency. How can I help you? My officers are in a pursuit right now, westbound on I 10 towards New Orleans. Okay, and why is your department pursuing this vehicle, sir? We started out as a traffic stop, now it's felony flight, switch license plate. Signal 20, signal 20, signal 20. The vehicle just 20 out and rolled over. Is anyone trapped, sir? The driver of the vehicle we're pursuing is injured. There are two other vehicles that are involved in the crash. We don't know of injuries on those yet, so we definitely need EMS out there. Forty-nine You're responding to a pursuit involving an overturned vehicle. Sixty-two forty-nine. You could put me on that as well. The notes at this time say that everybody's out, but there are multiple injuries. So I'm actually going to get them to start a second unit that way. Thirty-two. Stand out of country. Pull three in the field. Forty-nine. There she goes. Good girl. We're uh, driving. Police flip over, two or three vehicles involved. They said the police car flipped over? I, I don't know. I don't know. know. They said it, it was a pursuit. I can see the police. Sixty-two forty-nine. I'm on scene. There's fire up there. I see the lights. All right. You can show us an area. Hey, do y'all have anybody in the car? So the driver has injuries, uh, don't know how significant. I know he's kind of cut up from the broken glass. Uh -huh. Obvious rollover from a pursuit. Um, there's two other vehicles involved, I think. I don't know of any injury complaints, Okay. Uh, but he's up in this car. Okay. You have mass chaos on the interstate, and this is one of those scenes that really challenges your ability to multitask. Who needs to go to the hospital first? Who needs to go second? How many units do I need? Is traffic being blocked off? Is everyone around me in this scene and that's coming to the scene gonna be safe? First unit that's gonna pull up on this scene. You're gonna take the patient that's currently 1015. He's gonna be a trauma activation just by mechanism, just based off of like the rollover aspect of it. Okay, we coming up behind y'all right now. So we got we got the guy that that was 10, running. 15, yeah. All right, we got the 1015 guy. I don't judge people. My job is to help people. My job is to help the hurt, help the wounded. No matter what he did, I still have to treat him with respect. Come this way. I see him. They're walking. He's the um, he's the trauma activation. Yeah, he flips going interstate speed. Okay. So turn and sit your butt that way first. Put your back that way. We're gonna take those handcuffs off of you. Do show us a patient contact. There's gonna be a trauma activation. And so my second unit that's coming past all of us. There's a red car, a red vehicle. Y'all got him? Yeah, we got, yeah, we got him. him, baby. Hi guys. Thank you, Holly. PD informed me that they're gonna be following me to the hospital because as soon as this patient gets patched up and discharged, he's going right back to jail. Hi. Yes, Hi, Mama. Do you want them all to go? Yes. OK. Yes, Was yes. this baby in a car seat? Yes. All right, Mama. Come here, you little butter bean. Hi. I'll go get her hooked up in the uh, child seat. Hi. You ready? You ready? Huh? Kids? They don't see it coming, they don't get scared, they don't tense up, and if they're properly restrained, which, you know, this little angel baby was, typically they're not hurt in wrecks. Ooh, you're in a big girl car seat. It's a bright spot in the night, and it's a bright spot in all the chaos. You're so cute. You want trauma activation? All right, little mama. All right, little mama. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? All right, Caleb, roll out. The rollover at interstate speeds usually means that there's a critical patient or a severely injured patient. They got lucky, and I think everybody's in stable condition. I don't think they'll have any major devastating injuries, but they may have a few minor injuries. 6249, I'm clear. Emergency, I can help you. Yes, uh, I'm on the up ramp coming off of Claiborne going to the West Bank. There's a car turn on his side up here. Good thing he didn't go over that side, but his hand is bleeding. He said his hand got caught outside the window. Okay, I'm sending paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line. Help is on the way. How many 
need to free y'all. I have a cold three and an eight. By South Cleveland on ramp at 910. All time vehicle. 6249, I'll respond as well. One vehicle involved. I know if anyone is trapped inside. Going to return vehicle. Hold up on it. Oh, uh uh. Uh uh. Are you serious? You're gonna get yourself killed going that way. I have an emergency myself. I can't sit right there. That's that's not going that way. Wow. People are really crazy. She doesn't want to wait for this traffic incident to be cleared, which is absolutely so dangerous. So dangerous. If you keep driving into oncoming traffic, you are gonna be our next patient. You're really gonna have an emergency. 6249 on scene. Oh, Lord. Did he voluntarily climb out? Yeah. Oh, Be careful. All right, can we look at you real quick? My man, you hurting anywhere? Uh, my hand. Let's see your face, baby. Looks like, let me see your face. My, my, none, none of my, my it looks like you have blood on your face. You sure? Can I move your hair? Let me move your hair and see. What happened? Man, I, my brakes on my car not wasn't working correctly, and I fishtailed. Uh huh. I stuck my hand out the window, thinking I could stop the car from falling. Let me see your hand. No, my hand. Oh yeah, you did. Uh, okay. uh. Listen, let us check you out, okay, my man? Nobody's trapped. Huh? <laughs> hey, there's a dog out there. Scared, All right, buddy. Let's take a look at your hand. Probably broken in a couple different places. What hospital do you want to go to? None. I just want my mom to come. Everything's straight up my hand, man. While I'm helping take care of this patient and trying to convince him to go to the hospital, some of our team realizes that his dog is still in the car. Who's gonna leave a dog in the car? Nobody with New Orleans EMS is. I can tell you that. You have a lot of places that were shredded. You have a big gouge in your thumb. So I think you definitely need to go to the hospital to have it checked out. And we can't even clean it up for you because it looks like you might have glass and stuff in here. You didn't hit your head on anything? Oh, you had your seatbelt on? Yeah. You didn't lose consciousness. What city are you in? I'm in the wall. All right. And you are absolutely 100% I'm positive. I'm sure I want my mama to come get me and okay. me home. All right, bro, all this you got okay. it. Hearing on a have somebody else deal with it doesn't make me feel any better, no. I would feel fantastic if he would have just said, okay, I'll let you take me. Dog's okay? Yeah. Dog's not injured? No, I know it's skittish. Dry blood on her, but it looks like it's all just How nice. You doing? Both the patient and the pup are extremely lucky that with this amount of damage, we don't see anything that is visibly life-threatening right now. He, he says his brakes went out, he fish tailed, and, but he is refusing to go to the, the hospital. Top. Well, he climbed out. He climbed, okay, yeah. so that's he climbed it on his own, it yeah. She's pretty. You got your mom on the phone? Okay. Make sure you hold it on for that. Yeah, I, I got it. I'll help. Yeah, I'll help him out. Hold on, baby girl. I will say, in those instances where we have people that are just like, no, I'm not going, and mama shows up, that makes me feel better. Because I know as a mom, if mom says you're going to the hospital, you ain't telling her no. 6249, you can show me clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, she flipped it. They definitely did it. When we pull up, man, there is a vehicle, and it is definitely overturned. The beginning that the car did roll over, you know, it would just be hinging on whether or not someone was wearing a seatbelt. If they weren't wearing a seatbelt, then they could have been thrown around the car or thrown out of the car. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? Did you have your seatbelt on? Yes, I did. Seatbelt it. Got a little brazen to her leg. Doesn't remember the wreck. Uh, no alcohol or anything. Sweetheart, we're just going to stand you up and sit you on this, uh, Stretch, all right? Just come all sit all the way in that crease from me. Your head doesn't hurt, your neck doesn't hurt, and your back doesn't hurt. Correct? Correct. 
just by the looks of the vehicle, I would guess we're taking this patient to surgery. But this girl barely has a scratch on her. Um, so can somebody grab my phone or no? Do you, is your is phone it in, in there? there? Yeah, it's in the car. Got her other bag up there. Excellent. You want to do some real work? Go find a phone in that car. One of y'all can call her number and I can hear the ring. I'm really embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed, babe? That's what I call them accidents, honey. I will never drive again. Oh, you can't say I'm that. I'm going to get skinned alive. I'm actually going to get killed. By who? My parents. Oh, stop oh, yourself. Hey, look, I'm going to call it, and we're going to see if you can hear it. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. Well, I'm going to call her number and see if it rings. Ring it? Yeah, it's ringing. It. How old are you again? I'm 18. Oh, we've all been 18 and done something that we thought our parents were going to kill us over. They're not going to kill you or skin you or do any of that stuff you think. And you'll drive again. Not the same. Got friends with cars? Yeah. You used to be bumming a ride all the time like I used to. <sighs> used to make my man drive me around everywhere. Dude, that's out there hunting for your phone. Don't cut yourself, man. You got, oh, yeah, there you go. Good job, man. <laughs> Titus has a big heart. He prides himself on making people feel better and more comfortable with the situation through little things, you know? So if he goes and finds a phone, that's gonna make her feel a lot better. It's gonna make her trust us a little more and just make the whole call go a little easier. All right, ma'am, I didn't crawl my big ass under there <laughs> and got your phone. Well, I didn't do it. Uh, Martinez did it. There you go. So that's it. Thank you, Titus. All right, man, no problem. You are a real hero. I try. <laughs> Rescue 4, reporting vehicle overturned 22nd and Causeway. Please acknowledge. This cannot be good. All over. On a call like this, in the location that they're telling us it's in, it's kind of worrisome due to a lot of brush and water along the edge of the road. Just keep your eyes peeled on the side of the road. Don't see anything in the ditch or anything. No, I don't see anything either. Uh oh. Be right on the bridge, I guess. Please don't be on the bridge. We come to the bridge area, which always kind of concerns us. Tire trucks. I guess pull over right here. When we get out, we see a few TPD units on the um, side of the road as well, trying to see if we can locate this car. Anything down there? No, they're just looking. It's all right here. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah, we got a vehicle in the water overturned. I can't tell. We can't tell. The water's too murky. How deep is it over here? I'm going in the car. I can walk around. Oh! All right, nothing here. Nothing in the back of the car. It does smell like booze in here. <clears throat> it's got a key in the ignition. The car smells pretty strongly of alcohol. In most instances like this, a driver would flee the scene to prevent from getting a DUI. That would be the best case scenario for this one. So it looked like somebody could have climbed out? Yeah. yeah, it looks like somebody could have. Oh, well, yeah. Biggest thing is just to make sure they didn't come out and they're out there floating. You guys call for a dive or anything? Yeah, we're calling for our dive. We'll hang out here for a little bit then. What concerns me is the driver could have possibly been ejected. You got nothing up this way? We'll start doing a ground search of the area. There's been many instances where we've actually located people a few days later. Nothing in the bushes? Nada. No. Rescue four. TPD divers on scene. Acknowledge. The dive team's caught on on this because they can do a good perimeter search around the car. They're more trained and versed in the tides, so they'd be able to get a better location or an idea of where a body could have traveled if he was ejected into the water. Outside is clear. So we're saying clear? We're clear, yeah. You guys can go back to bed. For us, this scene is typically over. TPD would handle the rest of the investigation, try to find a driver, make sure that they're OK. It smelled like booze in there, so they could have gotten the whole butt. 
And he's drunk enough that he got out and ran because he doesn't want his DUI. All right, Douglas, you ready? Y'all have a good night, guys. So we're going to I-10 West and Airline Highway for a possible overturned car with entrapment. So somebody could be trapped in it. Yeah. Oh, yep. Definitely rolled over. 32-32 on scene. Hey, man, you all right? Oh, oh. Get a call for an overturned vehicle with people possibly trapped inside. Wait, she was in the car with you? With me. Okay. We get to the scene, and thankfully, nobody was trapped. Hey, sweetie, you were on the passenger side? Uh, yeah. You OK? Well, I'm burning from, like, here. Yeah, you got an airbag. Here. You got hit with the airbag. All right, I want to touch your neck real quick, OK? Oh, it's burning. Okay, back here? No, it's burning. OK, here. I'm just going to hold your face right here. Look straight for me. Look straight. Another shoe? <laughs> oh. I only got one. Where, is it in the car? Oh, it shouldn't take too long. It's just gonna be a golf. No. Man. And I was just bitching at him about putting on his seatbelt. Yeah. So Ooh. I knew that was gonna burn. Oh my gosh. Ah. I know, I'm sorry. Oh my god, my neck burning. Why is my neck burning so bad? It's it's an airbag, airbag baby. Stuff. So you got an abrasion from the seatbelt and all those chemicals from the airbag, you like fly up in there and they get oh kinda my get. God. Yeah, for sure. I have nothing in my right eye. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really look like you got any. You got a little piece of, like, little, like a dust lint type thing right here. I'm a bad driver, too, so I don't know. Yeah, you shouldn't let him drive anymore. I mean, <laughs> like, my hair switched around and everything. You look good. <laughs> oh, it's still looking fly, right? baby. Don't even worry about it. Okay. It looks fine, right? You're looking good. Excuse me. If that's the worst thing to happen, we all right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the car flipped. Like, yeah. I'm not bad. You gonna try to get the shoe out of the car? Yeah. Word. Can you see it or no? No, I can't see you it. You want me to climb in here? Let me try. Let me try. Let me see a flashlight. I think that's a shoe right there. I can I can see that. First shoe. Cool. All right. All right. We got your purse, baby. We got your shoe too. Shoe is in the purse. Thank you. All right. All right. You're welcome. welcome, Holly. Holly. Nick. Nick. I'm glad you're all right, baby. All right. All right. Take care, baby. All right, baby. Be good. We out. Mother rock stars. I'm just saying. Normally, when you roll over on the interstate, you don't come out with a couple of bruises and bumps like she did. So no. she's really lucky. They're both really lucky. Yeah. I think you missed it, but that was their third date. You kidding me? No, I'm serious. But that's his third strike. That's what she said. I don't know what else he did prior oh, wait, to. I guess a car wreck probably would end a relationship. At least it wasn't her car. Yeah, right. You know, I mean. Oh, man. That's got to that suck. sucks. Some guys just can't catch a break. 32, 32, stand by code three and the third. Oh. 32, 32, you're going to be responding. It's going to walk by. You're on the detailing road exit. We're an overturned vehicle, unknown if anybody's trapped. 10 in Orleans. 49, I'm in right from two lanes. All right, we're going to an overturned vehicle. Oh, that is definitely overturned. Mm -hmm. Damn, everybody's out. Mm -hmm. This does not look good. 6249 on scene. Who was in the car? She hit the fire. Hi. How old are you? I'm 20. What are you hurting at, baby? Just your arm? Can you feel your fingers? No. Could you please just give me your arm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is that the only place you're hurting? That's it? Yes. You'll be all right. We're going to take care of you, all right? I promise. She got a broken arm, or are they just wrapped? I don't know. We're going to have to unwrap it, because it looks like it's wrapped with a pillow. She was the only one in the vehicle? So you want you to stop over there. It's not getting any circulation, and it's perfect. She's not getting any circulation in it? Bystanders had actually wrapped her arm with everything I think people could grab out of their vehicles, and we're not sure what's under there. What's going on? Oh, you're going to the hospital, that's all. You're going to be all right. Let's relax. All right, we're going to take all that off, baby, and check that arm out real quick. Can you move your fingers for us? Wiggle your fingers. I can't even see her fingers yet, so. Are you hurting anywhere? My arm hurts. Okay, we're about to look at it right now. 
I know, baby. I'm sorry, but I gotta get all this stuff. I'm assuming off you got a delivery. laceration on your arm. That's why they wrapped it like that. So we gotta figure out if it's bleeding still, so we can stop it. That's all. It's no big deal. You remember what happened? I was driving and I ran into the firehouse. Okay. You had your seatbelt on? Yes. Okay. Ooh. That would be university. That is not giving me a trauma pad. All right, so look, was your window down? Do you remember? Okay. You got a pretty good wound right there where it looks like your arm actually came out of the car and drug on the ground, okay? She's gonna be a room four. Everything's fine. I can see just all of the adipose tissue, the muscle, the bone, everything. It is way more serious than I expected. And she has no feeling in this arm. Do you feel her touching your arm at all? Yeah, I can feel it. Up here? All right. Can you move your fingers? No. It's Nick, important. hold this up. Really try. Move your fingers for me. Okay. Okay. So you might have a little bit of tendon damage in your arm, okay? Can you feel this? Yeah, a little. Ooh. Okay. Scratch right here. All right. I'll hold it. You're going to feel a big stick over here, yeah. though. You also have a broken arm to the bottom left of it. That's why it hurts so bad. It's obvious that she has several injuries, which that leads me to believe that she probably has internal injuries as well. She's a trauma code. She needs to get to the hospital as quickly as possible. 3232, code 3UH, room four. It's all good, boo. You'll be just fine. All right, we up. How about that though. arm? Mm. <laughs> She's, She's lucky, lucky it didn't roll over her one more arm time. arm was not amputated. Oh, I know. Oh, For I know. real. I mean, she was missing chunks. Yeah. So I'd have been pissed because my tattoo would have been ruined. Oh, could you you know how mad I would have been? I'd be like, oh, hell no. Hell no. I'd have been no. like, you better go find that skin. Right, exactly. You better go get it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. I was like, hey, we ain't leaving until you find my hunk of skin so I can sew it back <laughs> on. And that hunk of meat <laughs> right. that I missed, you better go find that too. Right. I'd have been pissed. That's for sure. City of New Orleans, 911. We have a car that broadsided another, and it slipped on its side. All right, is anyone trapped or pinned, sir? Just one right now. The one that's turned over, and you might want to roll an ambulance. This location has been a motor vehicle accident with injuries. This is an overturned vehicle. En route from Tulane. I'm gonna put you some gloves on there, man. Appreciate the love, pimping. You can actually go up, take Howard, and come back down O'Keefe to Julia. You want to try this, bitch? Bro, I pull over. Nah, I mean, hey, you know what? <laughs> I dropped the shit out of that. That's how my wife would be. I ain't gonna be the same one. Huh? I like, whoa. Like, over there, hitting the brakes on the passenger side. And she's like, you want to get over here and try? I know we have the fire department right there. Um, I'll be there in a moment, too, and we'll figure out if we need him or not. Sounds like Holly is going with us. So I'm headed to a pretty busy intersection. I don't know if the damage is just severe enough that they can't open the door, but it definitely sounds like this is going to be a possible extrication. The biggest thing that I think of when I think of rollover vehicles is the multiple points of impact. You, at that point, are bouncing around like a ping pong ball inside of your car, which could mean serious injury. Alpha 3251, you can show us in the area. Just slipped over. Hey, you. What happened? I got you. had your seatbelt on? Yeah. You was the only one in the car, and you was able to get yourself out. How did you get out? Thank you. Are you having any neck pain, any head pain? Did you pass out at all? Any back pain? Not right now. No. You have blood. I think you might have cut your lip or anything. Let me see inside your mouth. All right, good. Just got a laceration, so nothing on your head, right? All right. To have just flipped her car, the patient is super chill. It was just her, single occupant, no LOC. She was able to get herself out. However, there could be some underlying things that we can't see immediately, so we really need to get her into a, you know better lighting and do a proper assessment on her. Are you hurting anyone on your stomach? No? You say your legs is a little sore, right? Which one, your right or your left? The right one. The right one? Your lower leg or your upper leg? My lower leg, like down in my foot. Right in here? Mm -hmm. And this one's fine? And you can wiggle everything? Mm -hmm. 
She's complaining of right foot pain, but she's able to wiggle her toes. She can feel me touching it. There's no neurological deficits anywhere. So we just need to get her to the hospital, let them shoot some x-rays and make sure she has no broken bones. How'd you get out? You climbed up to the passenger side? She said your boy got her out. You know your people's number by heart and everything? Because I doubt we can go in that car until they flip it over. Eh? You know it'd be good. We could go highly by our feet. Well, you do that? Let me tell you something. I did that once when I was an EMT. I ain't doing that. Yeah, doing that. I no, because I, I feel time. like you'll drop me straight on my head. I don't trust you for nothing. Let me see if they plan on flipping a car. Anytime we can safely get somebody's belongings from a vehicle, we should, especially when it comes to somebody's phone. She has to be able to contact her family. And unlike the 1990s and early 2000s, who memorizes phone numbers? That back open? Yeah, if this opens, we'll. <laughs> We cooking with grease. The vehicle's stable. It's not rocking back and forth. You know, we give it a push and it doesn't move. So I feel like it's safe for us to, you know, go inside and see if we can't find her phone. I'm gonna call it real quick. Mm. I hear it. Mm. I see it. I just gotta get to it. You got it? Boom. Dope. Uh, all right. We got it. We got it? Okay. Good job. Look at that. Nice. She's got her phone. And that's just one less thing she's got to worry about. That one simple little act takes so much anxiety off of the patient, and that could go a long way. All right, love. There's <laughs> another, right? Hey, look, I do put new tires on my car, so I know they hit you for a grip. Hey, look, you're doing the right thing, getting tires so to protect you in the rain and you, and you flip. I guess the new tires couldn't do nothing about another car hitting you, flipping you. I didn't see a lot of accidents, Ma. And with your accident like that, it's a blessing that you were able to walk. I know we clowning, but you are able to walk away from it. It's a terrible situation what happened to a car. So hopefully in the future, like, you know, Nuance will give her a little bit more love, but it's still a blessing that she's alive to tell about it. Really, probably being in that car might have saved your life, I mean, because it was a big car. But at least the good thing was, your boy was good enough to come out and, and get you out the car. There's a male pinned inside of the car, and the car is upside down. In area looking, 6215. 20, in area looking also. All right, y'all have a call back. You did say the 200 block. We actually just hung up with the call and stand by. Yeah, that's how we said. Yeah, I see him. As we pull up, there's a vehicle on its side, and I can see through the windshield that there's still someone in it. 220, we're all seeing They're clear on the other side of that car. Keely, watch that car. It don't roll. You have one patient at this time, but if that car turns over, you're going to have multiple patients. That's only halfway to anything. There you go. He's coming out. You can cancel fire. The neighbors helped get the guy out of the car. On a daily basis, people are always there to help. People in the city have a lot of heart. It makes me proud to be a yeah. New Orleanian. It's 10 boy, 23 Thank you. All right, come right over here. Hey, I'm speaking English. Speak Como te senor? You speak a little English? OK. Esco? Esco. Uh, me llamo Dan. Como esta? That's the American wow. version of Spanish. Right, exactly. I don't know how to say seatbelt, though. Seatbelt? Were you wearing your seatbelt? The challenges with treating someone that doesn't speak English is that I speak pretty poor Spanish. Can you get the information from him, Dan? Yeah, I try. All right. You have an ID? DNA ID? No. No? Uh, there we go. Uh, hey, we got that Elsa, huh? Uh, Eddie? Dan. Dan, Dan. Use the Elsa. 
Nuance EMS has, the ELSA, is set up that it's going to, 24 hours a day, we come in contact with an English-speaking representative, and she can contact us with dozens of different languages. All right, we need a Spanish interpreter. It's Keely with New Orleans EMS. Wait, ma'am, I'm the Spanish interpreter. Ah, I have the uh, patient on side of me right now. The first thing I need, is he hurting anywhere? And if so, where is he hurting at? Since my Spanish isn't as good as it should be, it's great to have the ELSA as a primary means of communication. Just my left hand, How did this uh, happen? That's what would happen. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. He was a big help. See, if you don't have Dan around, we got ELSA. Hey, but look, you did your thing. Hey. Speak, speak, speak. Come on, stop. <laughs> Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Randomizer, randomizer. They're not dead. I can work with them.